Our journey begins in the heart of Africa in Timbuktu, where the first recorded meteor shower was noted in August 1583. These ancient manuscripts provide the earliest known evidence of this celestial phenomenon. Fast forward to November 1833. The Leonids, the first great meteor storm of the modern era, occurred. With an estimated peak rate of over 100,000 meteors an hour, the storm was a sight to behold. Interestingly, the storm was most visible in North America, east of the Rocky Mountains, and was explained most accurately by American Denison Olmsted. Olmsted speculated that the meteors originated from a cloud of particles in space, a theory that would pave the way for future research. However, the nature of meteors was still a hot topic of debate during the 19th century. Renowned scientists such as Alexander von Humboldt, Adolf Ketelet, and Julius Schmidt viewed meteors as an atmospheric phenomenon. It was only in 1867 that Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli linked meteors and comets, a groundbreaking revelation in the field of astronomy. The 1890s brought further advancements. Irish astronomer George Johnstone Stoney and British astronomer Arthur Matthew Weld Downing were the first to attempt to calculate the position of the dust at Earth's orbit. They studied the dust ejected by Comet 55P Temple Tuttle in anticipation of the Leonid shower return of 1898 and 1899. Although meteor storms were expected, calculations showed that most of the dust would be far inside Earth's orbit. This discovery, confirmed by the absence of meteor storms that season, paved the way for more accurate predictions. Fast forward to 1981. Donald K. Yeomans of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory reviewed the history of meteor showers for the Leonids and the dynamic orbit of Comet Temple Tuttle. His work demonstrated that meteoroids are mostly behind and outside the path of the comet. In 1985, Ede Kondratieva and E. A. Reznikov of Kazan State University identified the years when dust was released, responsible for several past Leonid meteor storms. Then, in 1995, Peter Jeniskins predicted the 1995 Alpha Monocerotids outburst from dust trails. By 1999, Robert H. McNaught, David Asher, and Finland's Esko Leitinen were the first to apply this method in the West. In 2006, Jeniskins published predictions for future dust trail encounters covering the next 50 years. Today, Jeremy Vaubayon continues to update predictions based on observations each year for the Institut de Mécanique Céleste et de Calcul des Ephémérides. So, to summarize, meteor showers have been recorded for centuries, with the first written account dating back to 1583 in Timbuktu. The 19th century brought significant advancements in our understanding, with the link between meteors and comets established by Giovanni Schiaparelli. In the 1890s, the first attempts to calculate the position of dust at Earth's orbit were made. The late 20th and early 21st centuries saw the development of predictive models for meteor showers, a work that continues today. From ancient manuscripts to modern scientific methods, our understanding of meteor showers has evolved tremendously. Each discovery, each revelation, brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of these celestial spectacles.